Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Well, Monique Samuels and her husband Chris decides to leave Love and Marriage Huntsville, D.C. They decide to put their family first. She says she's uh, learned to stop devaluing herself on reality TV. She says her and Chris, Monique Samuels says her and Chris will not be returning because of contractual issues. But I believe what I heard is that she doesn't like the way she's being portrayed on TV, and it's simply not worth it. You know, she understood that the first go-round on reality TV, she gave it another shot. I believe Carlos made a huge investment in them, and they gave them, they gave him their behind to kiss. When things didn't go the way Monique thought they would go, I don't know if she thought Carlos King, you know, would do more editing or I don't know. But hey, it's a beautiful thing if she chose her marriage, her family over reality TV, ill regardless to whatever money they was making. She feels like the money was not enough for them to be portrayed in the manner in which they were being portrayed. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. But hey, it's a beautiful thing if she chose her marriage, her family, over reality TV, ill regardless to whatever money they was making. She feels like the money was not enough for them to be portrayed in the manner in which they were being portrayed. Monique Samuels also goes on to insinuate that it was Carlos King who leaked the information about her and Chris getting a divorce. Now, was that speculation or was that something that Monique mentioned? For her to insinuate that Carlos King, although she never mentioned his name, she's insinuating in this piece that, you know, pretty much, I guess, I don't know if he was aware of it, if that was something they were in talks about, but it was leaked to the blogs. And we know that, you know, things like this get the audience riled up and, you know, making them want to watch to see how things play out. Now, Either this is a total lie, you know, a rumor, or, you know, was it something that was discussed? Was it on the table? Was divorce on the table at one point? And you all discussed this with Carlos King because that's the only way he would have the ammunition to leak it to the blogs, in my opinion. These these things are all alleged. Okay, that's, I'm going based on what I heard her say to, um, you know, her podcast about her not returning to Love and Marriage DC. She said, uh, you know, her and Carlos are still talking. They're still friendly. The cast, they're still friendly. She just saw Carlos King at Porsche's wedding. You know, they're moving forward. They just didn't sign a contract. They won't be returning to TV. She's done with TV. But for her to say that it's mighty funny, nothing else was leaked, you know, and her not signing a contract wasn't leaked, it, 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 no, it doesn't make much sense, but we'll see. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, so Chris and I were actually planning to be a part of the season. And, you know, we actually wanted to show how we were navigating our marriage issues. And because we know a lot of people can relate to that. Um, we did our initial production meeting, had a house together, kids, hair laid, glam, glam on standby, all of that. But the main reason we, we didn't start filming was because of contract issues. So God works in mysterious ways because how convenient was it that this whole divorce narrative was put out there? Mm. But the fact that Chris and I, even to this day, 
um, we never even started filming and nobody knew that wasn't leaked. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just makes me wonder who leaked that narrative. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, the only reason that there was even speculation, like you said, is because they saw this trailer and they were like, wait, where y'all at? So yes, it is true. Chris and I will not be returning. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we're, we're done with reality TV, honestly. I'm just at a place in my life where I will never again allow myself to be devalued. The contract has to make sense for me. Um, and you know, when I'm filming, I'm giving my all. So if you want all of me, you got to make sure that paperwork is straight. Absolutely. So, you know, no hard feelings. Business is business. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. But as always, the show will go on.